welcome to the very first episode of video series DK's Hull. We know that soil, the soul of infinite livings, is also called the Mother Earth. Did you ever think how? Well, this is because soil is fundamental for the production of food and feed to meet the world's demand. And most importantly, it has its own system to do so. Let us assume this tree represents all the plants on this earth growing on a typical soil. We know that plants inhale oxygen and use carbon dioxide during photosynthesis to make their own food. And yes, this is the basic difference between plants and us. Plants make their own food while we completely depend on plants for our survival. Let us try to understand this process. We know atmosphere has 78% of nitrogen, which is very important and crucial to sustain life on this earth. Certain soil bacteria like Azospirillum, Azotobacter, Acetobacter, Rhizobium assimilate or synthesize this 78% atmospheric nitrogen and in presence of water convert them into nitrate, enzymes, protein, organic acid and amino acids which are then used by the plants either directly or, or as an ingredient in making food. Another group of microbes that is phosphate solubilizing bacteria solubilize phosphate, iron and calcium so that they are easily absorbed by the plant roots and used in nourishment that is food making. This helps their proper growth, flowering, fruiting and even grain formation. Do you know that the quality of soil is decided on the basis of carbon-nitrogen ratio present in the soil? And yes, responsibility to maintain this carbon-nitrogen ratio is also being done by the microbes themselves. Actinomycetes produce antibiotics that protect the plant against diseases and provide them protection. Microbes like yeast, trichoderma, bacillus and lactobacillus help to decompose the leftover and crop residues again adding to the CN ratio or to the quality of soil and during this process release some enzymes and amino acids for plants. Now this is very interesting. We know to remove the smoke and gases from our kitchen we use chimneys and yes photosynthetic bacteria present in the soil exactly does the same thing to remove the poisonous gases like carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfates and ammonia from the soil into the atmosphere. Now you see what a beautiful relationship exists between the soil, atmosphere and the plants. One can see that nature has fully equipped the earth that is soil with a well-defined system and that is much advanced than our modern kitchen. Soil is the kitchen of plant as they make food for them. And yes, as all of us depend on plants for our food, soil is also the kitchen of this world. And this is the beauty of this nature. By now, you must have understood how do big trees or even jungle that we see growing here and there survive for years without any fertilizer or pesticide. Do we ever apply even water to them? On the other hand, even with the increasing production and application of fertilizers and pesticides to the cultivated crops, challenges like increasing cost of cultivation, declining yield and declining returns from cultivation is well known. In the upcoming episodes, we will try to find the reasons and its possible solutions. However, it is quite evident at the moment that soil is not doing well or something is seriously wrong with the soil. Keep watching, like the videos, subscribe the channel and give your feedback so that we can continue to include new topics of your interest. Thanks and Namaskar.